All right, so here is my attempt at an impromptu meal. We just moved in our house and we really had not much food in our refrigerator or freezer. So all I could really find meat-wise was some frozen solid chicken in the freezer. So I had to think about what I was gonna do with it. I thought I would just go ahead and record it. So I also had some about five corn on the cobs in the refrigerator that needed to be eaten. So I went ahead and got a pot of water ready and threw those bad boys in there and turned the heat up on high, got that boiling uh, while the meat was uh, defrosting. I know what you say, you say. So I put my meat in there for about 35 minutes, but I got it out about 10 minutes early. It only took about 25 minutes for it to defrost. Um, I, after it had started to defrost a little bit, I decided to go ahead and cut it into about um, each breast into about three or four pieces, just to get the process done a little bit faster because I was kind of in a hurry to throw things together. It was starting to get a little bit late. Right now, I'm also trying to think of some ideas. What am I gonna make for dinner tonight? What am I gonna do with this chicken? So my next thought was that I had some Parmesan garlic sauce from BW3's in my cupboard. So I decided I was going to um, go ahead and cook my chicken up with some butter and lightly toss it in this Parmesan garlic sauce because it's very, very rich. And make some, uh, make some other sides to go with it. I thought that'd be pretty delicious. So I looked in my uh, cupboards and pretty much the only thing I had to choose from was the Knorr brand Rice Sides Chicken Flavor. I actually prefer the chicken flavored rice of the Walmart brand a lot better than the Knorr brand. Don't ask me why, the, the Walmart brand maybe just tastes more delicious, maybe it's all in my head. But anyhow, that's all I had in the cupboard, so I thought I would go with some rice. I won't let you down oh, yeah, 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 so. All right, so you need to put a couple tablespoons of butter in a big pan. Get your pan ready, get the butter melted and simmery. Then we're gonna place our very smally, small diced up chicken into the pan. We're gonna spread it around with a spatula and get everything um, evenly arranged in the pan so it cooks very evenly. All right, then we're gonna place a lid on and we're gonna let it cook. So then after you take the lid off, it's gonna look like this. There's gonna be a lot of excess water that you need to drain off. So then you're gonna get your Parmesan garlic sauce or whatever sauce you're using and just put a very small amount. We don't want it to be overwhelming. This sauce is very strong and a little goes a long way. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to stir it up with my spatula. I felt like it wasn't really coating very good. So I got this idea in my head where I thought I would place the lid as securely as I could back on the pan and kind of give it a good tossing around. Well, I lost a couple pieces of chicken in the process. I was lost across lines of so here I go. Oh, there goes the chicken. Maybe you could try it and maybe you'll do a little bit better of a job than me at coating the chicken. So now it looks pretty good. Uh, it's been simmering for about a minute or two with the sauce on it. It's uh, good and hot, good and cooked, good and coated looking pretty good so now it is time to get ready to eat give it one last good stir then we're going to put it on your serving dish and what I'd like to do is just bring it a little closer to the camera and get it focused and show you what it looks like pretty closely because it looks very delicious There we go, check that out. Doesn't that look good? 
All right, so here's the spread. Uh, not much to it, obviously. It's not a very fancy meal, but this is all that we had in the house, so it just goes to show you really, you really can make a, a meal, a decent meal, with not much at all. So the whole family likes it. My husband's on Atkins, so he was eating a salad with pepperoni and cheese. Bon appetit!